The waffle started out in the Middle Ages as a flat wafer made not from wheat flour, but from oats or barley. As its popularity spread throughout Europe, many variations of shape and recipe developed. The introduction of leavening ingredients gave rise to the fluffy honeycombed breakfast cake we know today. The introduction of frozen waffles in the 1950s marked the dawn of a new era for these breakfast batter cakes. Making your morning waffles was suddenly a snap. All the big prep work takes place at the factory. They add flavorings like berries to a flour-based waffle mix and then turn to the liquid ingredients, water, canola oil and liquid cane sugar. They pour them into a big tank and mix thoroughly. Then they're ready to thicken it into a batter with the flour-based waffle premix. It also includes baking powder, which reacts with water to cause pockets of carbon dioxide to form for a leavening effect that will continue during baking. After adding more berries, this batter is complete. And there's enough in this one tank to produce 3,600 waffles. Hot waffle irons move past a sprayer for a misting with a non-stick coating. Down the line, an automated pump deposits measured amounts of batter onto each grid plate. The top grid plates encase the batter. This production line is computerized, which ensures the plates are filled quickly and without any spills. As they move towards the oven, the waffle irons rotate, allowing the batter to reach all the crevices inside. They now move through a long gas oven. It takes about two minutes for them to cook. They emerge from the oven, piping hot, where a machine called a picking drum removes them from the irons. As the picking drum revolves, Needles grab the waffles and pull them off the hot grid plates. The picking drum transports the waffles up to another level. The needles retract, transferring them to a series of conveyors. At the other side of the factory, the waffles enter a blast freezer. The temperature inside is minus 7 degrees Celsius. Fans blow frigid air onto the waffles as they spiral through the freezer. It takes just 20 minutes to freeze and preserve these freshly baked waffles. The frozen waffles now merge into lanes to be sorted for stacking. A kind of trap door system releases them three at a time to grippers that move them onto a conveyor. The conveyor lane narrows, which forces the waffle stacks into a single row. A sensor-activated gate releases the stacks, two at a time, to the packaging station. It takes just a second for the two stacks of frozen waffles to be wrapped and sealed in a tight cellophane packet. Then it's into a metal detector. To demonstrate how it works, we place a quarter on one of the packages. The system senses it immediately and a blower blasts the package off the conveyor. Suctioning fingers now pick up the outer paperboard box and open it as they place it on the conveyor. A ram then shoves the wrapped waffles into the box. Incredibly, they churn out more than 8,600 waffles an hour at this factory catering to different tastes and dietary requirements. And that merits a toast.